Alright guys, in the last video we finished off by um, our layout here. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, add one more div in here that I forgot to add in the last one. This is going to be div ID toolbar. Toolbar is going to be outside of the header, but inside of the wrapper and before the content. So now what we're going to do is start coding this um, so we start to get some images in here inside our styles.css file. First thing you need to do is go into your Photoshop and set these margins and cut out those images like I had you guys do in the last video. Okay, so now that we have our images inside of the images folder, we need to take these um, divs and set them up with CSS. So we're going to do styles. And the first thing I'm going to do is set a body tag um, and clear these margins and padding. So everything sits up in the corner. Uh, nice and pretty and that way we can set our own margins. I'm going to set a background color with my hex code that I took from my Photoshop layout and um, I'm also going to set a font family and uh, let's choose, uh, let's do Tahoma sans serif font. Okay so now we got a background color there and we got everything's going to be snug up there in the corner. Uh, save that. Then we're going to start off now um, by beginning our layout styles with the wrapper div. It's going to be pound wrapper open squiggly bracket. We're going to set a margin to zero and auto so their auto margins that center, that's the centers that's what centers the um, website. We're going to set our width to 800 pixels because that's the width of my uh, website I created in Photoshop. Um, take this off live view here and you can see that this has uh, margins automatically centered and everything's pushed up there in the corner. Um, next thing we're going to do is set a header, our header thing. So it's going to be pound sign, header, open squiggly bracket. My width for my header is 800 pixels and the height for my header this is the dimensions of your image that you took from Photoshop. So the height of my header is 250 pixels. And um, there was the background URL. Um, this is going to come up, uh, a little screen is going to pop up here, and you're going to click whatever you save your header background. I save header background.jpg. Pretty simple. We're going to set a no repeat uh, and end that with a semicolon. And now we're going to have here are my iHeart CSS. Um, header. Next thing we're going to do is that toolbar thing I had you guys at the beginning we are going to set the div for that. So it's going to be pound sign toolbar. Width is obviously going to be 800 pixels. The height for my toolbar is 64 pixels. And same thing as the last one, background URL um, toolbar here no repeat, and that, and there we go. There's our toolbar now coming into play there. If you look at a live view, you will see your toolbar or whatever you have set under there. Um, so cool. All right, next thing we are going to do is um, add the content. We're going to set the content, div, pound sign, content. Uh, we're gonna, the only thing we're going to do here is set a minimum height of 400 pixels. You don't even have to do this, I just do it for myself. Um, let's see if we can fit the last... Actually, um, I'm running out of time here, I only got 5 minutes. So in the next video we'll start adding the floats in here and, fl and the rest of the images. Um, look at it in a live view, everything's starting to come into play here. So we're going to add these images in the background and stuff in the next video. We'll add the floats, we'll add some, um, hopefully if we have enough time, we might have to go to four videos, but we'll add some uh, stuff in the toolbar as well. So, um, yeah, uh, watch the next video to uh, keep on going with this.